Georgia just landed a five-star commitment a few minutes ago. The number one defensive lineman in America committed to Georgia over Miami, over USC, and this big one Georgia fans have been waiting on for a while. I got on three, director of recruiting Chad Simmons. We're going to go behind the scenes of this latest five-star commitment for the dogs. But first, Georgia fans, do me a favor. These are exciting times. Hit subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. We are the best recruiting channel on all of YouTube, and we love talking dogs recruiting. Jump on board. All right, let's bring in Chad Simmons. Chad, the number one defensive lineman is off the board, been trending to Georgia for a while. Take us behind the scenes. How did Kirby Smart pull this off? I mean, I would say simply relationships, Josh. I mean, look, Elijah's a family guy, super close to his mom, his sister, his grandma, all live in Savannah, all close knit. And to me, that's what Georgia built this recruitment on is recruiting Elijah, you know, his mom. They've had his grandma on campus multiple times and just kind of getting them comfortable uh, with the people, you know, with the coaching staff the academic advisors, nutritionists, the strength and uh, conditioning program, anyone they wanted to meet, get to know, ask questions to, not just this year, but last year, uh, just making them feel at home. And to me, that's what it came down to. I, I don't know if there's ever really competition for Georgia in this recruitment. Yeah. I mean, I think at one time, South Carolina, about a year, year and a half ago, they had gotten him on campus six, seven, eight times. He had people in his corner that were pro South Carolina that would get him up there uh, and so on. But Georgia has really kind of controlled this recruitment since offering him first early in his middle school days. And it goes back to getting him that there over and over and over again, again, not just him, but his family. And, and to me, that's what made them the team to beat uh, from the beginning. And they were never really threatened, I don't feel like, in this race. And they closed it in the end. Chad, you've watched a lot of Elijah Griffin and he, as he's developed through the years in the state of Georgia. What does he bring to this Bulldog roster as a defensive lineman? Look, I think he's a very athletic big guy in that 6'4", six, 6'5", six, range, 300 pounds. I mean, I was, I was at a game of his earlier this year on a Thursday night down in Savannah talking to his head coach before the game, and uh, he, was said, he would say he's probably a top three athlete on their team. You're talking about, you know, you got guys that play running back. You have the number one player in 2027, but Damian Guyton, his teammate that plays edge rusher, um, that they put in that same conversation about that burst, the way he moves, how he acts in the weight room. Um, and I think that gives Georgia a versatile guy in, in their odd man front. They play base out of three, four, can play four man as well. But Elijah can be moved around in that defensive front at Georgia. And Georgia identified that obviously extremely early in the process. And, you know, look, like any other player, Elijah can get, you know, somewhat complacent, you know, in high school games. He faces double and triple teams every night. He may not wreak havoc on every play, mm -hmm. but what you see is when he turns that that switch on and flips the switch, he can take over a game. I've seen him have multiple sacks in a game, block punts, make a play on fourth and short. When he wants to, he can flip that switch, turn on that motor, and, and dominate a game. In Georgia, their job will be to get that out of him every play for four quarters in Athens. We know he has it in him. He has that first round NFL ability and that's what he can, can take to George in the future. Does he have the ability to come in and play right away, making an instant impact? Yeah, I think he has to still get a little bit stronger, but look, I've seen him, he's got the size. I mean, it's, yeah. I think it's, it's a tough position to come into at a place like George, who's got a stacked roster every year to come in and play in the trenches as a true freshman. But does he have the ability? Yes, he has the athleticism, the versatility, the size. I think he has the want inside. He'll be a mid-year guy that's there in spring practice. I think you'll hear about him in the spring, uh, making some noise in the trenches in Georgia. They don't have that D-line they had years ago with Trayvon Walker and Devontae um, you know, when they don't have the Jalen Carter. They don't, they're missing those.
Well, that's get guys like Elijah Griffin and Justice Terry in there right now in this class. So I think the window is open in a great spot for Elijah to go in. If he has a great spring, great offseason, he can compete for playing time next fall. Yeah, and you mentioned that they are not done. So what is Georgia looking at when they talk about finishing this defensive line class? Well, I think we his name starts with a J and, and ends with a Y, and then you have Terry, the last name. I mean, he's been, those have been the guys for Georgia. I mean, Justice Terry was the first commitment initially in this class for yeah. Georgia. He obviously backed off and flipped to USC before it's backing been a while off that. Since then. Real, it, it has been a while, uh, but. Look, Elijah told me when he gave me the commitment story, mm -hmm. he has one guy in mind that he's going to target for the next month and a half. His name is Justice Terry, that he will be in his ear. They already communicate. They've already talked about playing together at Georgia the last few months. They've been on visits together. They know each other. Yeah. Um, look, Justice Terry is not going to make a decision likely until early December, um, but I like where George is at with him as well. And that would be quite the one-two punch to go in there and get two five stars that play the same position that can be moved around on that defensive front that Georgia runs, and they're both five stars in your home state. The thing Kirby Smart said when he came to Georgia, that initial interview he took over the job for Mark Rick was win the state and win in the trenches. Yep. That would be two for two with these guys this cycle. Mm, well, this is a big step in that direction. Georgia fans, you got to be feeling good about this one. Elijah Griffin is officially a dog. Talk to us. Who do you guys want next? Let us know. Comment section below.